All right, guys, quick outfit check of the day. So we're about to run some errands. It is currently 4.10 and it's Saturday, September 16th. I am leaving out pretty late. I've been sleeping in all day. It is raining out here in Houston. We definitely needed that rain, so I'm not complaining. So today's purse slash pocketbook bag, whatever we're going to call it, I'm going in with my Steve Madsen bag. That bag is so beautiful. I love it. And then for my lotion, we're going to be doing the Vanilla Cashmere Dove. I'm going to do my Jergens. And then I got the Kenneth Cole Reaction for her. That smells really good. Then far as my feet, my footwear, I will be going in with my high top yellows. They are super cute. And I'm just going to be doing some black leggings. And I'm going to go in with my oversized Ameri hoodie. And yeah, so that's my outfit, guys. So let me go run, jump in the shower, get dressed. Hey, y'all. So your girl just got done in the shower, as you can see. So fresh and so clean, clean. So what I'm about to do now is get my skin all moisturized. And like I showed y'all before, this is the stuff I'm going to be using. And then we're going to get dressed. And then the next time I'll be back on here, we should be at the store shopping, which is my favorite part of it all. But I'll see y'all back in a few. Alright, so we just got done putting some gas in the car because we was driving on the interstate heading to our destination and I realized I was about to be on E. We definitely can't have that breaking down. So let's see. We did $30 and we're going to see if this actually filled up my whole sink. So let's check it out. And we have a full tank. Perfect. All right, y'all. So let me get my seatbelt on. I actually wanted to go to Dunkin'. I wanted to go to Dunkin' Donuts. But for some reason, Dunkin' Donuts been disappointing me lately. Because I've been ordering Dunkin' Donuts. And it's like... Y'all just not doing something right with my, my, my iced coffees. Like, y'all giving like y'all just don't care. And I don't like that. But, guys, we do think we should go get some drink? Or we should just head over to... Matter of fact, let's head to our destination. Because I'm sure we all hungry. And we just need to get something to eat. So, we'll see y'all in a few. Alright, so this is the first store we stopped at. I actually found this store on TikTok. So normally TikTok be giving all the gems when it comes down to certain stores and restaurants. But for some parent or reason, this store wasn't given what it was supposed to be given. But I did find something that was super cute. And I'm about to show you guys these right here. Yes, the black on black. I'm not a Converse type of girly. They were 70 bucks. I feel like I could do a few things with those. What you guys think? Let me know in the comment below. The whites is a dub. Not at all. I would not wear those. And here come my son. Every time we come in the store, he loves hoodies. So he go picks up a $70 Nike hoodie when I just bought him a sweater. No, sir. We're not doing that. Put that back. All right, y'all. So I'm in Tarjay. So I need to find a card for my camera. And I need to find a mouse for my laptop. So let's go find this uh, memory card. And all right, guys. So I found the SD card. So there's two different ones here. We have the Extreme Plus 128 gigabytes, and then we got your Ultra Plus 256 gigabytes. And this one is about $37. And this one is $53. So I figured a set of spending $37 plus tax, probably be like $40 something. Might as well just pay that extra $10, $15 and get a higher gigabyte amount. 
and yeah we just want to do that so we're going to pick this one up and put this in our shopping carts and we are about to go now to find some um, we're gonna go find now i need to get a a mouse for my computer and right now i am drinking my starbucks vanilla so i will see y'all in a minute so right here i just stopped at marshall's really quickly i just wanted to see what type of bed covers they have um I'm actually due for a new blanket. In all reality, I'm really not because I just bought one. But Marshalls is the go-to spot if you want a new comforter for your bed. They have beautiful selections there. Look at all of these comforters. Like you could really find you some dope comforters for an affordable price. This is where I get all my comforters from. All right, now we just made it to Raising Hangs, so we're gonna stop in here and go grab something to eat. We are super hungry. I don't know the last time we really ate. So let's go up in here and see what we can find to eat. All right, y'all, so we just got our package in the mail from Amazon, so let's unbox this together and let's see what we have. So, your girl finally got her one and only Sony camera. Look at it. This is so dope. This has been a long time coming. So, I got the Z um, V1F camera. And let's open it up and let's see what we got. So, of course, you have all your instructions. Make sure you don't throw these away because this is going to be very helpful and useful if you need to know how to operate your camera. Again, you could use YouTube as well, but make sure you keep your instructions. So, the first pouch we got right here is, let's see, let's see, y'all, let's see. Oh, this is so cute, guys. Look at this. So, this goes on the top of your camera, as you can see right here. And guess what this is? This is a whole microphone. This is a microphone that will be on the top of your camera. Tell me this is not dope. So, let's set that to the side. And let's take out the camera. Be very careful when you pull your camera out. So, oh my God. Okay, let me just say this. This camera is so lightweight and it is small enough for you to hold in the palm of your hand. You cannot go wrong. Like, and I've been doing my research all over um, when it comes down to cameras because I've been wanting to get a camera for a very long time, but they are really expensive, guys. They really are expensive. Um, let me turn this off. They really are expensive. And so I'm just super excited that I was able to be put in a place where I could get myself one of these cameras um, to better my content, to better my confidence, and to just deliver great and amazing content and videos for you guys so let's turn it on i'm not gonna get too much in depth in you know the um features and all that i just wanted to do a little unboxing with you guys to show y'all um what it is so of course you have your flip screen right here so you can flip your screen this is the cover your lens, you pop that off. And as you can see, uh, my background is a little crazy. So let me just try to turn it like this. So as you can see, now I can see right here when I'm recording, it's, everything is just so, so clear. It's, it's really, really clear. And I didn't really do too much research as um, far as with the settings just yet. So... Yeah, y'all, look how clear this is. Oh my God. So we got our camera 
And we're going to start getting this top content going. Let's just close this back up. Ooh. All right, let's turn this off. All right, y'all. So y'all just seen the unboxing. So I just wanted to just say like, I am really excited that I was able to purchase this camera. This was a long time coming. And um, this is, and, and one thing I could say about this camera doing my research and playing around with it just a little bit, it is beginner friendly. So if you are new to the YouTube whole world thing, and you're new to using cameras, I would definitely recommend this camera, of course, to each his own. Do your research because you want to be able to get something you're comfortable with, something you're comfortable with um, using in public, and more than certain, something you can afford. I mean, to be honest with you, all of these cameras is expensive. You got some cameras that's way more expensive than this one, but I can say this one is around the 500 range. But with, of course, with shipping and taxes, you'll be paying almost like 600 bucks. Yes, it's worth it. Um, I'm just so blessed to be able to be in a place where I was able to just drop the money to get this camera. Um, like I told y'all guys before, I had started YouTube like a year ago. And I wasn't, in the beginning, I was super excited about it. I was... I didn't know what I was doing, y'all. I didn't know nothing about editing softwares. I didn't know nothing about thumbnails. I didn't know nothing about previews. I didn't know nothing about lighting. I didn't know nothing about a lot of things. I was just new. And it's okay. That's how you learn. You just got to put yourself out there. And you're going to make mistakes. And you're going to go back later and see. And like now, when I go on my channel... When I go on my channel and I look at the videos that I first started out with and look at my quality, how I was recorded, and I look at my videos now, I'm getting better as I go. I'm getting better as I go. Now, of course, you know, a lot of people ask, oh, I'm just starting off. Do I need a camera? You don't need a camera. Yes, it's true. You can use your iPhone. Me, I've been using my iPhone you got some iPhones that's really clear. Like right now, I'm recording on my iPhone. But I'm going to tell you what the big pet peeve for me, right? And I believe this was a big part of why I wasn't really consistent. Is because you could be recording. And remember, your phone already got things going on. You got your pictures on there. You got your videos. You got apps on your phone. So when we sit down and do these videos, like you should not have to be looking at the time like, oh my God, I'm already 10 minutes in or I'm 20 minutes in and then your phone shut off and it say no storage. That was one of my biggest pet peeves and I didn't like it. And it was discouraging me from recording the videos because I would really be sitting here recording and like it'd be times that I would have like a good amount of footage and then it say, um... Oh, you need space. So now I have to stop the video. Well, the video is going to stop by itself. Then I have to go start deleting apps, deleting pictures, deleting videos, having to go to my settings and seeing what needs to come, you know, what's to open up some space. It was just too much. It was too much of a headache. All right. So as I was saying, um, when it comes down to the phone, yes, you can use your phone. But my biggest issue was storage 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 because you got to remember the device you're using is not going to be um completely clear because you use it for your pictures your videos photos so my biggest pet peeve and my biggest barrier was you could record all your footage it will let you record everything and when it go when it's time for you to go and get ready to upload it will say it can't upload so you just got to be deleting deleting and this is why it takes us youtubers hours and hours to get footage out because we have to sit there and just delete all of this stuff it was a headache so i said you know what i had the money i was going to invest in myself invest in my brand invest in my business 
and I wouldn't want a camera. So whenever y'all can buy yourself a camera, go and do it. You will be happy. I am super happy. I finally got this camera and it's just amazing. So we are going to get this content out. I'm going to be getting it going. So I hope y'all is excited just like I am. But look. Alright guys, so I'm going to end this video. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. And I will catch y'all in the next video.